What is up YouTube, it is Showtime and I am back with yet again another video. Now in this video, similar to the last one, I'm going to be showcasing my inside center build. Now I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to post a popper build. I will be posting it probably after this one, but I wanted to get this video out the way of my inside gameplay. If you want to know the build used in this video, I already have created a video on it. I will leave a link in the comment section down below of the build I'm using in this video. But I'm telling you guys, this is by far the best inside center build in the game. Now I've gotten so much flack, so much back backlash about this build people are like oh it sucks it's trash but people don't understand that i've wired it in a way and created it in a way that specifically caters to competitive play if you know what you're doing and you understand how the game is played in the stage and competitively you will understand why i made the, the build the way i did first thing i want to talk about is my driving dunk i feel like that's the biggest point of, of talk my driving dunk is extremely low as you guys can probably just see here on screen i only have a 73 driving dunk i do not see the point in having a very very high driving dunk now i will not lie there are opportunities when you can get contact dunks on people i understand this build does get posterizer on um bronze i don't have any of the major contact dunk animations unlocked or anything like that because i don't see the point rarely am i ever in a situation to be triggering contact dunks i feel like back in 2k20 2k21 it was so much easier to, to trigger contact dunks when you didn't have to time it and all that stuff a lot of people aren't with that and that's why we tend to go lower on the driving dunk so that's why i did what i did rarely am i ever pulling them off so i'm like why am i going to waste my takes on this and i'm just majority i'm ma majority or all the time i'm only scoring off of slips or if i'm running on the fast break and what i'm starting to realize about this build which is which is where i'm going to kind of get into my next point is this build is not even really an inside it's not really made for that purpose i don't feel like insides are where it's at but it's more of the 99 old board second chance board second chance play build that's what this build is all about the, the literal reason i made this build the only reason why it even makes sense to make it inside is for the 99 rebound that's why i don't believe that i believe six seven insides are garbage six seven in six foot eight insides are garbage the best inside center build you can make is a six foot nine and they are and they allow you to get that 99 offensive rebound if you don't have a 99 offensive rebound there is no reason to be making it inside at all that's just kind of way the game is this year so as you guys can see on screen i have a 99 offensive rebound when you get the 99 offensive rebound it allows you to have rebound chaser and box out beast on legend uh, as you guys can probably see here in my badges i'm almost at box out beast legend i haven't been playing the game enough but i'm so close and i get those two badges without even using my badge perks so when you guys do unlock your badge perks have you guys as you guys see i haven't locked my max tier one because i'm not level 30 yet but use your max it's not even too important your max tier one but your max tier two badge it's so important that you use it on on ball menace so one con i will say about using the inside center build that i have noticed is that to have a good or even decent inside center build it has to be six foot nine and a six foot nine caps out at an 80 speed so you have to work with the 80 speed it is going to be a little bit more difficult to switch um hedging may be a bit more difficult because most of us are accustomed to playing on high speed popper builds high speed builds in general high speed builds are where it's at especially on the defensive end um at first you know it took me some adjusting to i was getting completely fried you have to play with a pretty good lockdown to use an 80 speed center build because when you get that switch and they force that switch and you're playing 1v1 with the guard it's going to be hard to keep up with a guard who has 90 something speed with ball and you only have an 80 speed so now recommendation is if you're using this build is that you like i said use your max tier 2 badge perk on on ball menace on silver it will help challenges not work don't waste your time hank the tank already posted something talk about how um it literally makes no difference even on legend i think there was a breakdown of the badge make sure you're playing with a good lock who knows what they're doing who is always trying to get back to the guard so you can drop you know, there's going to be some positions where you just have to stick it out and play on the guard, but you're going to have to play with a good lock. And I recommend you use your max tier two badge perk so that you can get your on ball minutes up to silver from bronze. So that is basically it for the video. This is just kind of the way I'm kind of doing my gameplay videos for now. I know I haven't been doing long form gameplay content, but I will be anytime I play a really competitive game, a good game on the 5k court only stage by the way i'm only doing this for 5k court 2.5 10k whatever court i'm going to be dropping gameplay videos on that just so you guys can really see what i'm getting into and like i said my goal now for this channel is to kind of just play more competitively and have more entertaining content of me playing high intensity games among some of the best players on the game so i hope you guys did enjoy the video like i said the build is in the comment section down below please do leave a like comment subscribe the popper build that you guys have been desperately waiting for is on the way I appreciate you guys who made it towards the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.